What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Dugai, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Dugai. <laughs> boy, I tell you, man, they made my day. And today I'm going to talk about the rival New York Giants had a team brawl, which the franchise quarterback, Mr. Danny Dimes himself, ended up at the bottom of it all. Oh, and their head coach, Joe Judge, is living. Uh, before I get into this video, yo, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, so feel free to DM me, and whenever I get a chance, so I'll get back at you. Come holler at your boy. Also, if you play Madden 21 uh, on Xbox One, I'm going to have my gamer tag down in the description box also. Let me say this, man. Like, now look, the Eagles, we ain't perfect. We got we was last in the division last year. I get all that. We got we got issues. We ain't perfect right now neither. Though I like the direction we headed. You know, you got the New York Giants and a fan base basically popping off at the mouth about the Philadelphia Eagles all offseason. You know, the head coach, Joe Judge popped off about the Philadelphia Eagles after the end of last season. And, you know, we hearing, oh, they want a piece of us. Oh, they, you know, what, what, a, what a trash organization. Gonna lose a game on purpose for a draft pick and all this other stuff. Look, let me just clear that. We tanked. Okay, yeah, we tanked. We absolutely tanked. And guess what we got out of it? We end up getting Devontae Smith and a first round pick next year. We tanked. Okay, but what you gonna do about it? <laughs> like, okay, we telling to your face, we tanked and what you gonna do about it? Okay, cause look, the season was a wash. We we, we, we did what's best, uh, we made an organizational decision. But let me say this though. You got the Giants up here talking all this nonsense. Like the Eagles ain't been 34 and 12 against the Giants in the last 46 matchups. Like, the Eagles ain't just beat the Giants eight straight games before they finally broke through and beat us the second game last season. You got all this nonsense going on, you know, and we supposed to feel bad because, for one, we didn't let a 6-10 and 10 team make the playoffs. Like, we didn't let a team with six wins make the playoffs. A 6-10 and 10 team, you know, with a top 10 draft pick, well, a top 11 draft pick, Make the playoffs. And we supposed to be, be feel some type of way because we didn't let them in. How about you win enough games and get yourself in the playoffs? How about that? Because we don't depend on the Cowboys or the Giants or Washington to win or lose games to help us win the division. You know, second of all, about the incident today with the team brawling and the quarterback. Like, this is another reason I want Giants fans to understand why. Now, look. Did they improve their roster? The Giants did improve their roster. But do I look at that roster and be like, oh, the Eagles can't beat them? No. Like, I don't look at this roster and, and, and fear shaking my boots at all. Now, hey, it could games could go either way. They could beat us, we could beat them. But I don't fear them. But one of the main reasons I don't fear the Giants, what this shows me is a lack of leadership in that locker room. When you think about the New York Giants, who are the leaders? Who are the veteran guys that been been to the playoffs, won playoff games, or made deep runs in the playoffs to where they could get the team in line? I'll wait. Who? Because on our team, Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, Lane Johnson, Jason Kelsey, oh. I guarantee you, if we had a brawl, our franchise quarterback is not going to be at the bottom. One of the leaders would have stepped in and wouldn't have been having that. Graham Lane John, I remember Lane went check Alshon Jeffrey over a rumor, <laughs> like that he was saying stuff that he was the anonymous source. Lane went check him over a rumor. We have leaders in our locker room, yo. You have, that's four Super Bowl champions, veterans, 
in that locker room that the team respects? Who in the Giants locker room is the leader? Which one of these players are the leaders? You know, but who? <laughs> like, that's that's why I don't fear this team, yo. Giants fans could talk about, oh, we hate the Eagles. Wait till we see them. We got some fun for what they did us last. Because poor, poor us didn't let the six win New York Giants into the playoffs, which makes us an evil, a evil team, an evil organization. Poor us. But I just want the Giants fans to know. Like that today, I laugh because I'm like, okay, yeah, you got a bunch of people with names that you gave a lot of money to. But where's your leadership? Where's your leadership? Who, whenever things like this happen, who is going to step up and say, hey, we, who's going to hold people in that locker room accountable besides the head coach? That's the head coach's job. But the head coach needs soldiers on the team, in the locker room, that could grab, that could galvanize and bring the team together. New York Giants don't have that. And apparently they don't have a lot of respect for their quarterback, Daniel Jones, neither, because he wouldn't have been at the bottom of the pile. That's all I got to tell say to y'all. See y'all, uh, what, week 12, and I forgot, they went 15 or 16 or whatever. Uh, but with that being said, yo, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I'm going to have Philadelphia Eagles and NFL content throughout the year. Also, this coming, um, instead of Wednesday, but this coming Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, 5 Pacific, I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout-out on the live. Also, on Sundays at 11 a.m. Eastern to 1 p.m. Eastern, I co-host Big Time Sports Talk Radio Show with Mike the Bandit on ESPN 1420. Download the ESPN 1420 AM app or go to www.espn1420.com and listen and listen to the radio show, yo. It's some good stuff. Until then, y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly. Get some leadership, Giants, before you step to us.